Nice to be back today. Just wanted to fill you in on a few things that I've learned. Over the week, I was just experimenting with some different blushes. So we're going to go through it real quick. So again, we're going to be under 10 minutes. Again, we use our moisturizer, which is also a sunblock, on our skin. Put some in your hand, actually the palm, and then put some on your face all around. Don't forget your neck. And then we're going to put the under eye cream as well by L'Oreal. And we're going to put some under here and put your cream on. Okay, next we're going to use our blush minerals by L'Oreal. And spread around so that make sure you get an even, an even tone. So it's a nice palette to work with. Next, you're going to put on your blush, and what I've been using is a powder blush. Uh, you can get either a Clinique Compact, which I showed you in the last video, or Ulta also makes a nice little packaging that you can throw in your purse as well. And then I found this one this weekend. It's by Revlon, and it's a cream blush, and the super thing about this is there's a button in it and once you press the button a little mirror pops up I loved it so I think it's a great thing to have in your purse and again if you want to put on the cream blush you can put the cream blush on with your fingers it's real easy this one's called berry It lasts, too, a long time on your skin. You can take it with you as well because it's got that great mirror. And then we're going to do the eyes. I've got some, I guess we're going to call this a berry pink on today. So I'm going to use some pink on my eyelids. And again, I'm using my NYX sticks. They're great sticks. And they act like a cream on your lids. And I was over at Ulta this weekend, and Ulta, there were some young girls, I was telling them about it, and they got them too, from my recommendations. Uh, I'm going to go into a docker for my crease, and, and that would fill in and blend a little bit into the center portion as well. Um, go into the crease. This one's kind of a navy blue. There we go. Now, when you put the darker one in, you've got to blend. Got to blend. And once you blend it, use your fingers. Keep a nice handy tissue by you so that you can wipe your fingers in it and then blend again. It makes it so easy and so much fun. We're going to use some liquid eyeliner as well. As I've told you, I love the liquid eyeliner. This is an art liner by... Lancome. Real simple. Right above your lashes. And I like to put them underneath as well. I had some concealer on earlier, so I'm just going to add a little bit more concealer. And um, Ulta makes this concealer as well. And put a little drop here, a little drop there, and just blend it in. It's a stick. Makes that easy, too. Then we're going to use our lash curler. Because the lash curler adds, when you put the mascara on, gives it a great look. Nice and full. Of course, this is the Max Zoom that I've been using, which I think adds a lot to your lashes. It gives it nice fullness and the bottoms as well. So we tried our new cream blush, and we're going to see how we like that. Easy to use. We're going to go into our lip liner, which I've been using the Clinique lip liners. Line your lip. And a nice pink color on our lips. I'm using Revlon. 
and you're pretty much good to go. Everybody have a wonderful day. See you soon.